Hello everyone, it's Mike here from Site5. Today we're going to begin this tutorial by learning how to set up our email account on OS X Yosemite in Apple Mail 8.2. Let's start by selecting the mail application from the dock. If this is the first email account you're adding to OS X Mail, you will see this screen. But if you've already added mail accounts, you can add a new one by clicking Mail in the upper left, select Preferences, and then select the plus icon in the bottom left to add a new account. Mail can automatically add and configure multiple mail services, such as Gmail, Yahoo, Exchange, and many others. But for your custom domain name, some manual setup will be needed. But don't worry, it's quite easy. Let's begin by selecting Add Other Mail Account and selecting Continue. Following this, enter your name. This is the name that other people will see when you email them from your Apple Mail client. Also, enter your full email address and the account password, and then select Create in the lower right. On this screen, you can choose IMAP or POP. We support both, but recommend that you use IMAP to keep your account in sync with your webmail and any other devices which also have this account added, such as your tablet or your phone. To securely set up your account, enter the name of the server on which your website is hosted. If you use Site Admin, you can find your server name by selecting the Server Status tab and appending .accountservergroup.com to the end. If your account uses cPanel, you can find your server name on the left of cPanel under the Stats column and append .webserversystems.com to the end. Mine is s1-dallas.accountservergroup.com and we will use this as the incoming and outgoing server. If briefly you see that an unknown error has occurred, don't worry. This means that Mail couldn't figure out your outgoing server settings based on the information that you've just entered. So next, let's enter the outgoing server settings. This is the same server settings that you used for the incoming server along with your full email address and password. On this screen, you may also see that an unknown error occurred here, but don't worry, we're going to fix that in just a bit. Now, we need to ensure that we've set up Mail to use SSL so we can send and receive email securely. Let's select Mail from the upper left corner of our screen and select Preferences. Let's start by selecting the outgoing server. From the drop-down menu next to Outgoing Mail Server, click on Edit SMTP Server List. Remember when Setup said that an unknown error occurred? That's caused by this setting, Automatically Detect and Maintain Account Settings. Let's disable that for good measure. The reason this happens is popular email services such as Gmail may from time to time change server settings like a port number or the server address. Since we won't be doing that, Mail is unable to determine that automatically. Not disabling it can cause a headache down the road. From this new window, let's also select Advance and ensure that the SSL option is checked and port 587 is in use. Also on this screen, let's ensure that the authentication method is selected as password and that Use Insecure Authentication is unchecked. In the last two boxes, Username and Password, ensure that your full email address and account password for this account are present. When finished, tap on OK. Next, let's do the same settings for incoming. Select the Advanced tab from the Mail Preferences window. And let's uncheck that Automatically Detect and Maintain Account settings here as well. Let's also change the port number to 993. When you've done this, press Enter to confirm those changes. Select the red dot from the top left and then select Save to save your changes. Now let's send an email to ourselves to confirm that our changes were successful. If you can send and receive mail without error, congratulations. You've successfully set up Apple Mail 8.2 on OS X Yosemite. If you have any questions or concerns regarding this video tutorial, feel free to open a ticket with our support staff from your Site 5 backstage or come to our friendly live chat support.